Declan Rice and Jack Grealish faced a challenging reception from Irish fans during England's Nations League match against the Republic of Ireland, with the duo being booed by the home crowd. The reason behind this reaction is rooted in their decision to switch international allegiance from Ireland to England. Both Rice and Grealish have strong Irish ties through their grandparents and began their international careers representing Ireland at youth levels. Declan Rice played for Ireland's U17, U19 and U21 teams, even making three appearances in friendly matches for the senior side. Jack Grealish similarly represented Ireland in the U-17s, U-18s, and U-21s. At that time, both players were seen as promising talents who could become future stars for Ireland. However, things changed when both players opted to declare for England at the senior level. Rice's situation in particular caused a stir. After being a key player for Ireland's youth teams and even being named Ireland's Young Player of the Year, he decided to represent England in 2019. His decision came shortly after Ireland's then-manager Mick McCarthy publicly expressed his intention to build a team around Rice. Understandably, this left Irish fans feeling disappointed as they felt he had turned his back on their national team. Jack Grealish, on the other hand, never made an appearance for Ireland's senior team but turned down a call-up in 2014. By the following year, he had declared for England after being contacted by Gareth Southgate who was then managing England's U21 team. His choice also stung Irish supporters who hoped to see him wearing green on the senior international stage. Both Rice and Grealish have since become regulars for the English national team, earning several caps and playing in major tournaments like the European Championships and World Cup. Rice, now a key player for Arsenal, has accumulated 58 caps for England, while Grealish, playing for Manchester City, has 36 caps. Their decisions, while understandable from a career perspective, left a mark on Irish fans who viewed their switches as a betrayal of sorts. So, when the two lined up against Ireland in Dublin, it was no surprise that the crowd voiced their feelings with boos and jeers. Rice, acknowledging the sentiment, chose not to celebrate after scoring the opening goal, raising his hands in a gesture of apology. While these choices were undoubtedly difficult for both players, they have paved their paths in international football. Their journeys continue to be watched closely by fans on both sides. We'd love to hear your views. What do you think about Rice and Gralish's decisions to represent England? Share your thoughts in the comments below.